and it's saying good morning Daryl to me and I'm going to press the button now to start the ride let's lock the doors um, to Street. Here we go. Please make sure your seat belt is fastened. So as you For can see, press the, call the steering wheel's moving there. Good morning and welcome to day nine. We're here in beautiful Quarter Madeira and it's currently 7.04am and it's the 2nd of September 2024. We're going to have a wonderful day again in San Francisco it looks very very clear cloudless sky so we should be able to get some amazing views of the Golden Gate Bridge come and join us and we're going to show you more fabulous sights of this beautiful city come on let's go We're going to start the day here at Oak Hill and Carl is back with a vengeance. Can't see a single thing. Blue skies up there, but uh, yeah, the fog is in. Big time up on a Hawk Hill, but the Golden Gate's actually clear down there. And what a view this morning here at Fort Point. What we're going to try and do today is get you all different shots of the Golden Gate and the sights of San Francisco. Really like that one. You can see uh, Carl Fog up on uh, Hawk Hill that we've been to this morning. That's got to be one of the most incredible sights in the world. And it keeps getting better. It looks amazing with the uh, sand and the rocks. We've got fog, we've got coral there, look at that. There's quite a lot of fishermen. And what a fabulous view. They have that. We're using the iPhone 15 Pro Max 15 times zoom. And I think this is the reason why we're bringing you these incredible footage this morning. The Osmo Pocket 3 is very, very good. But it's more of a vlogging camera walk and talk. Where with the iPhone, with the zoom, you can get some incredible views like that. Beautiful morning. Went up to Fort Point there. So lucky for the bridge to be this clear for us. What a wonderful shot there of the, of the Golden Gate. This is called Fort Bluff. And Glenn is currently walking the Golden Gate Bridge. The tracker is showing him at the moment to be right in the middle of the Golden Gate. Mm. 
wind noise. So I'm going to click that one now. That was a really good shot. And I'm now back to where I've parked. Loving our rental vehicle. I think this is one of the nicest that we've had. And I like the colour. Four Point was built in 1853. But I've just read there, in 1933, they nearly knocked it down to make way for the Golden Gate Bridge. But they saw it was such a spectacular building and they saved it. Right, we are in Waymo, driverless car. So I'm in Waymo now and it's saying good morning Daryl to me and I'm going to press the button now to start the ride. Lock the doors. Um, Heading to Filbert Street. Here we go. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. So as you For can see, press the, call the steering wheel's moving there. Rider support agent. And I haven't got a driver and my taxi is, is just going down the road. This this is just absolutely remarkable. What do you think? <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? Really... Just, just look at that there, how it's, how it's turned and it's taking me now up the uh, street. There is a stop sign here. So it looks like Waymo has got to uh, stop. So he is stopping there. And we're indicating left. Then we're going to turn left. This this is just outrageous, really. Just Beautiful cars. I can't believe it. The Jags, aren't they? Yeah. So it says I've got a four minute ride here. So on me, on my screen there, it does say four minutes. But I'm driving down the street here and I've got no driver. That's yeah. incredible isn't it? The car is just doing it, the, the lights are ready so the car the car is stopping. Have you seen everyone stares at the car and as every, well? Everybody's looking at the uh, car. Is, uh, is there you go, driving. that's the Waymo that we're in there. So I'll just look in that window across there and you can see the Waymo that we're actually in, and as I say the lights are red, Waymo knows they've gone green now, and here we go again, it's uh, it's starting to drive, and again there's absolutely nobody in my car, I just, I don't know what to say really, and we're indicating uh, right here now. Oh, it's going to take us up Hyde, real And it's going to take us up uh, Hyde Street, very which steep. is a really, really steep street, so the steering wheel's turning there. And look at this, we uh, are going up Hyde Street. Thanks Waymo for giving me this ride this morning. So I can here adjust the air conditioning if I want. And I think I can pull over at any time and talk to somebody. But uh, who needs to do that? Waymo's dealing with everything I need to do here. He's just slowing up. He's seen a car. Uh, which he's just passed us there and he's carrying on up the street here I mean this this is just unreal footage I just don't know how this is happening really if I'd have said this years ago everybody would have laughed at me wouldn't they yeah there's a girl there taking there's somebody, a photo uh, somebody just watching and there's uh, <laughs> Somebody taking a taking Getting a photograph close. there. Don't let your belongings right away. Grab your stuff now. So we're getting close to where we uh, want to be dropped off. It should turn left on Filbert and it will go down the steep street then. So it should. You've, you've asked it to turn left on Filbert, have you? Yeah. Well, it'll probably try and drop us off at a at a safe location. So it looks like it's going to drop us off on the right hand side just here wherever it's safe so it's finding a place here now to actually uh, stop 
I don't know where it's going to drop us off, but it is uh, it is going to stop somewhere here, and there's a car trying to try and back out Scorpio, here as we please as make we, sure it's clear before exiting. As we're getting out, so we'll have to be. Bye, Waymo. Alright, this is the steepest street in San Francisco. Uh, we've got a guy uh, flying a drone there, which is awesome. Beautiful views. And we can see right the way out to Coit Tower there. That just gives you an idea there of how steep the, the street is. Some beautiful homes in San Francisco. A real fun thing to do would be to use Waymo and just go to different sites of uh, San Francisco. I mean, yeah, it may cost you a few hundred dollars, but definitely be worth it. This one always brings back memories to me. This was appearing in Crazy Like a Fox. I used to love Crazy Like a Fox. And here's the cable car San Francisco. We'll give everyone a, a wave. Wow, look at this fire escape out. Pretty tall, eh? Cable car's gonna head down Hyde Street now. And there he goes. Down one of the most beautiful streets in San Fran. Well, the trees have overgrown quite a lot, but it's still a beautiful shot for you there. Very, very nice. Then if you can hear the cables under the road there. Welcome to Lombard Street, the most crookedest street in the world. And here we go. Cars are heading down. The head ranges have uh, started to die off a little bit. I've noticed this year everyone's putting stickers on all the signs. Check that out. Such a beautiful day here in San Francisco. And the flowers are gorgeous. And I wonder who lives in a house like that. Very, very nice. I like the colour. Hope you're enjoying day nine here in beautiful San Francisco. And the weather is just perfect. Let's continue walking down Lombard Street. Fairly quiet at the moment. We are Labor Day Monday. But it's going to get very, very busy as the day goes on. Have some uh, roses there. Just got to love San Fran. There we go, Lombard Street, the hide ranges have died off unfortunately, but we still get a beautiful colour sky. Here's Waymo again. Actually, there is Waymo's everywhere in San Francisco. Yeah, DP.
Hi, Waymo. We're getting down to him. Getting, uh, jump the back. All right. Good morning, Daryl. And good morning, driver. And so here we go. I'm in the Waymo now. And uh, it's just waiting now for Daryl to uh, start the ride. Right, are we ready then, guys? Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with the rider support agent. Oh, this is fabulous, isn't it? This is just absolutely unbelievable. Which way are we going to go here? Straight down? Or are we going to just everyone's. Uh, Amazed at the uh, at the self-driving car, they're all waving at us there. We're going straight down here, are we? Um, yes, yeah, so straight down here. So it says our our journey is about four minutes. So there's a stop sign here. It just amazes me how the how the car actually steers itself. It's it's remarkable, isn't it? Really, it's fabulous. There's a screen there as well, so even if you sit in the back, you uh, you know where you are, and you can stop and start your car as you need to. Really great, isn't it? Mm. You can see all the sensors on the on so the front of the car. We're going to make a turn here now. Um, Left hand turn, but there is a pedestrian there. There's a pedestrian. What colour are the lights? Are they red or? They're red. So it's uh, oh, it's gone green now. And there's your steering wheel actually uh, turning itself. We're going to control the air conditioning, so we'll go down to about 67 there. That's amazing, isn't it? So it tells you what speed way So this is just absolutely insane. Just check this out. No driver whatsoever. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Self driving. Is it Autumnus car? Okay, there's Waymo. Close the door. Thanks for the ride, Waymo. Okay, it's picnic time, San Francisco style. Right, okay, so what a view we've got of the Golden Gate right behind us there. And we're just at the edge of Chrissy Fields and we've got the beach here overlooking the Golden Gate. How stunning is this? Wonderful shot. And I think you can agree, everyone's enjoying themselves there. And over here we've got a, a good shot of Alcatraz. I'll just zoom into the, the bridge and give you the shot there. So nice. Labor Day, Bank Holiday Monday looks like, here in San Francisco. We just don't want to move from the picnic area, just so nice and a perfect place to uh, picnic there. Stop, Palace of Fine Arts, we're going to walk around and show you how beautiful it is in this area. Picture perfect yet again. Blue skies, a little bit of coal on the left hand side there. 
and you all know who Carl is now if you've been watching the videos detail in it all the carvings and wow so these seem to be similar to what we saw in Celebration Florida really like all the different fauna around here gives you some cracking photos and the size of these leaves they're like lettuce leaves getting a good view of the beautiful homes where we parked there and we're looking across at the, the lake Palace Lagoon fronting the front of the Palace of the Fine Arts and it's a relic of San Francisco's early landscape and it was once part of a slough on, on a tidal wetland stretching from the present day Divisdaro Street which is on the right hand side and the shape of the Palace Lagoon is still very close to what we saw in 1915 I'm now going to take you guys into the Palace of Fine Art come on and we can check out these wonderful flowers as well remarkable all this stood the 1906 San Francisco earthquake amazing how they did all these sculptures or whatever you call them unbelievable this area the main light rotunda always blows me away the height up there incredible and how did they build something like this all them years ago and there's another good picture for you with the perfect light and the water everything there for you and are you guys loving San Francisco we certainly are right does anyone recognize that house no let's go and have a look I think maybe looking at the writing on the tree there you know where we may be Just, uh, Mrs Doubtfire I love you Robin so this is a huge movie Mrs Doubtfire or Doubtfire the number 2640 is the exact same on the movie so Robin Williams would have walked up and down the steps I think you'll see it on the films where the kids are waving to him here and he's got that old car and he goes driving down here but what a beautiful property this is and that's just amazing I absolutely loved Mrs Doubtfire all here on these steps and you can probably see where people have left messages for Robin Williams rest in peace Robin Williams R.I.P uh, there used to be a lot more writing all around here and on the lamppost I think there is I've just seen some writing here I love you Robin wow massive massive movie and they've got some beautiful roses out there a real good uh, shot there 2640 Steiner Street San Francisco welcome to Alamo Square and how nice is this just bring your picnic ba baskets and your blanket and you're going to see what a wonderful view all these guys are looking at and here's one of the most photographed places in San Fran Alamo Square and all the modern city behind it got the Salesforce Tower there 
Transamerica to the left. St. Mary's Church. Yep, definitely could just sit here with a seat and gaze over this beautiful city. And there we go, Alamo Square. Done. Ticked off. 2024. And we have arrived at Ocean Beach. And up to the right hand side will be the entrance to the Golden Gate Bridge. Lots of very talented artists on the uh, walls there. Right, we're going to head and have a look at the at the ocean. San Francisco has many many beaches, but Ocean Beach is huge. Plenty of sand, and the doggy is loving having a little dig there. Nice and breezy by the ocean today. How nice is this? I'll just show you where we are. This is Golden Gate Park. And up here is the entrance to San Francisco Harbour. Golden Gate Bridge probably about probably about there behind that hill. Hope you're enjoying day nine as much as Glenn is doing the filming today.
There's plenty of people uh, on the beach tonight. It's an absolute stunning evening. Pier 39 sea line. So, what have we learnt about that? Loma Prieta earthquake. They actually all arrived on the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake and they've been here ever since. They've made it their home. So Alcatraz is about a mile out, I believe. It's a mile. Yeah. Really like this view looking down at the city there. And if we zoom in, look at what we've got. Middle is Coit Tower, Salesforce, Transamerica building. And then the dark building on well, the middle of my screen is the famous building for Dirty Harry and that's where the shooter was on the roof there. It's that time of night again, it's ice cream time. And they're making here the famous San Francisco crepes with all the Nutella and check out all the strawberries there. Huh? Yeah they're blowing bubbles on Pier 39 tonight. That looks a, a pretty cool shop. Golden Gate Bridge all dressed up there ready for Christmas at the Christmas shop. And the, the window displays are awesome, aren't they? Look at the gingerbread houses here. Yeah. So I left my heart in San Francisco. Beautiful. But we can uh, we can see the sea lions there. And there's quite a, quite a lot of them tonight. And they're certainly noisy. We've got a good shot of two of them there. So that is your Pier 39 Sea Lions of 2024. It's quack of San Francisco. And look at this window display. Golden Gate Bridge. Full of docks. And look at the different docks that you can buy there. And it's still busy, so this is Labor Day Monday in San Francisco. So we've got Bob on the stage tonight. And we've watched Bob quite a few times. Really, really entertaining. And yeah, if you've got time, come watch one of the shows here at Pier 39. He's got a pretty good audience there tonight as well. And here we go again. We're coming now towards the end of day nine. And the sun is heading down over the Golden Gate. Right, we've got an interesting fact for you guys. How deep do you think San Francisco Bay is? I'm going to tell you. 12 to 15 foot deep, not really that deep. However, under the Golden Gate Bridge, the shipping lane there is 372 feet deep. So there must be like a massive ridge that comes in to San Francisco Harbor. We've roughly got about 20 minutes to go before the sun goes down on yet yeah, another amazing day. I like the shot there where the shadow of the sun is on the, the water. If we zoom a little bit more into the sun there. Look at that. I love this scene at night where the pelicans flying low across the water and that view of Alcatraz in the background. Yep, the sun is continuing to head down. Now we're currently on digital zoom. I don't know how good this is going to be for you guys but 
we can have a quick look and see the pelicans flying past us now. So the sun is just approaching the roadway of the Golden Gate. How long have we got for sun down there? Eight minutes. And we've got eight minutes. This one we're taking is a slow mo. Slow mo for you. And there we go, the sun is going. We might as well watch this together. This is the end of day nine, guys. We've had a fabulous day on day nine. Showing you a lot of sights in San Francisco and the two rides on Waymo were awesome. There we go, it is now gone. Until tomorrow. And seriously, Waymo's, they're like flies in San Francisco. This one, uh, there's another one here that's just had to turn around. Just incredible. So you can see the sign on the top is saying it's uh, taking in passengers or letting them out. And there we go. It's been Waymo day. There are Waymos everywhere in San Francisco. And this one's got to turn around as well. So this, this may be interesting. So I've never seen a Waymo back before. So let's check this one out. It's going to put it to reverse lights on, I guess. There you go, reverse lights. Look at that. Yeah. And they sound futuristic. Definitely a Waymo day. Right, end of day nine. Where is this holiday going to? It's been a fabulous day today. We've seen some wonderful uh, scenery. It's been a beautiful day. Join us for day 10 tomorrow. We are still in beautiful San Francisco. First thing that we're going to do is head to Muir Woods and then we'll show you more of uh, all the sights here in the city. It's going to be a beautiful day, a lot warmer. Join us. Thanks again. Good night from San Francisco. See you on the next video.